So I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, before us here today, we have three Youth of the Year, two former and our 2022 Youth of the Year candidate, Aiden Lee Vargas, uh, along with Viandi Marisma and Vicky Filzume. Youth of the Year, what is it? What is it about uh, Boys and Girls Club? We like to build up our young people uh, to teach them different skills, life skills, working out in the community, taking care of our own community here within the club. It really becomes the pinnacle of what we want to see our young people embody as they grow up and come through the Waltham Boys and Girls Club. Uh, so Aiden, as the newest youth of the year, right? I think two weeks ago, let's go back. You hear the announcement, Waltham Boys and Girls Club Youth of the Year, Aiden LaVargas. How, how do you feel? What was your initial reaction? Man, I was, I was stunned. I was very surprised. I looked to my left and right at my other competitors and I was, wow, I was shocked. No, that's awesome. And again, I was there to see the emotion. I know what it meant to you. Um, so again, congratulations on that. Vicky, I mean, somebody who, again, won his Waltham Boys and Girls Club Youth of the Year, ended up making it all the way to, to represent the state of Massachusetts. I mean, that's a different experience for somebody who's been through it. Could you, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, honestly, I felt like being the Boys and Girls Club kid, you see so many different candidates go through the process. So at such a young age, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I knew I'm going to become the Youth of the Year, but not for the Boys and Girls Club of Waltham, but for Mass. Mm -hmm. I was dedicated. I was, I had a mission. But I honestly will say, like, the reason why I was able to excel so much is because I had great leaders like you. It's because I had mentors. It's because I had, you know, the Boys and Girls Club. I had the staff who believed in me. So, Viandi, you know, Waltham Boys and Girls Club, huge resource for the community, kids, families. What did the club mean to you and, and what kind of club kid were you here at the Waltham Boys and Girls Club? So when I was young, young, when I, when I was like six, like six to nine, I was the hyperactive kid with ADHD, bouncing, bouncing around, going to the gym, watching kids play basketball, like watching all, all the, all the, like all the older kids playing basketball, going to the games room, losing every day in ping pong. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I was that kid. And then from like middle school, I started like migrating to the gym. I would not be an athlete if I if I had not come to the club, because I'm you know I'm I'm a child of two Haitian parents, born and raised from like they're straight from Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Immigrant parents. Yeah, it was school, school, school. What is sports gonna do for you? We don't care about sports. We care about school, school, school. Me, that wasn't my mindset. It was sports, sports, sports. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so. That's what the club meant to me. The club meant the club meant like compete and be better. Yeah. That's it. Simple. Compete, be better. So it so, sounds like sounds like a source of motivation almost. Yeah, no, absolutely. It is. To, to this day. For sure. To this day. So yeah. That's awesome. Vicky, what about you? I just started coming to the club when I was six years old and French was my first language because I was born here but raised in Martinique. Mm. Um, so and then Creole second because um, you know, I am Haitian as well and English third. So at the time I was, you know, trying to learn English or just the American culture within itself and it was a lot. So it was a I was a very shy like kid. It's hard it's really hard to believe now if you know me, but I was extremely shy like, going to the Boys and Girls Club every single day like interacting with the staff, interacting with, you know, the different um, friends that I built here and kind of like building my self-esteem and that's when I was like, wait a minute, like hey, like I can actually be something. It really, really like helped me just kind of like achieve the highest levels. But um, it wasn't until I got into the program Keystone um, that really kind of like molded me in a way and kind of honed in, you know, education and resource and helping and giving back to my community. That's when I kind of became like a huge like like advocate and like a spokesman for Boys and Girls Club and realized like, wait, like. There's so much more that I can do outside of me, outside of Victoria. So, like, are there are there people that during your time you can look back to and say, yeah, they they really said some stuff that stuck with me. I still talk to every staff member that I've had here. Well, like when I was growing up, I still talk to every one of them. Like, yeah, like literally, it's it's the community. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it, like, right when I was when I was older, I saw Vicky growing up. When I came back to work. I saw Aiden growing up, and guess where we're at? You know where we at? We're on stage. You know what I mean? And um, I just—if you're a club kid, like, if you're a true club kid, then you're 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 part of the you're just part of the network. You're part of this family. 
you know, outside of these walls, the club just makes you like, it's as if you can achieve anything, the possibilities. And when you're out in the world, it's so hard and it's so difficult to be your own advocate, to be your own spokesperson and continuously believe in yourself because it's difficult. And I was lucky enough to be five minutes away. So I would come back every single time I could just to kind of like reel in and breathe, you know, take that step and breathe because there's many times where I'm like, I need the Boys and Girls Club. There's not one person like, between board members, between you know volunteers, between you know staff members, everyone really made a difference in your life. So I started coming to the club when I was seven. So I used to live right over on the side street, Exchange Court, and I would go to Plimpton. And one day at the Plimpton, there was a, a speaker announcement about the Boys and Girls Club. So I was just hanging out with uh, like two people in my group, and we were just boom. Speaker, Boys and Girls Club, they have programs, this and this. And um, I was like, wow, uh, since my mom was never really home, I just went to go check it out one day. I was curious about it. And uh, thankfully, they let me in and let me check it out. And I met Mark that day. Mark, he, he was someone that was very kind to me. He was very open. He was someone who you could go to if you needed to talk to someone. And um, he showed me around what the, the club would offer, can offer. And I'm, I'm grateful for him to do that because I would not be here if, if he wasn't there that day. People here have inspired me to, who, to what I am today. Like, you opened my confidence. Mark showed me kindness. And uh, Marshall, he also did that too. He showed me how to give someone a handshake which is big because <laughs> it'll take you far.